this homestand started, shall we? The Twins are here. It's the beginning of a three-game set, and we will have J.P. France on the mound. Hey, Rocco Baldelli sends out Joey Gallo in that leadoff spot. Gallo's never hit leadoff in his career until he became a Minnesota Twin. Hard ground ball and out of the reach of Altuve. Second game in a row where Gallo has hit a ground ball that a year ago would have been an out, and instead he gets a base hit. Julianne, the batter. Swing and a miss, got him up in the zone as Julian goes down on strikes. Correa was cheered when his name was announced here. And that's a high bouncer waiting on it. Abreu, first baseman, has it. Races to first in time to get Correa. And that's the second out as Gallo goes to second base. Karloff will take a walk, and that'll bring up Royce Lewis. First pitch curveball, and that's hit in the air to left fairly deep. To his left, Dubon has room, makes the catch a step shy of the warning track, and the side is retired. For Sonny Gray making his 11th start of the season. He's leading all Major League starters in ERA, fielding independent pitching. Driven to right. Kepler back making the catch one away. So Pena, good job laying off that 2 2 slider, draws a walk here. Now it's Jordan Alvarez's turn. 1 0. Oh. And he'll get a chance here. And a double play cleans up the hitting. And Royce Lewis combining with Correa to start a double play. Joey Gallo, who leads off this inning, change up there to even up the count at two apiece. And now a swing and a miss. Back to back change ups. Here's Edward Julian. Yeah, he gets called out on a changeup. How about the changeup all of a sudden becoming the big pitch in this inning for JP France? Correa will take a walk and that'll get Kirill off to the plate. That's looped toward left, and that'll land in front of Dubon for a base hit. And Lewis will come up again with two men on. Driven deep to the right field corner. He's hit it hard, and that's gone and hit the foul pole. A home run for Royce Lewis to right field. Absolutely incredible. He nearly hit one out in the first inning. He goes oppo to put the Twins up 3-0. So the Astros will have two runners on here with two outs. They're trying to pick up a two-out rally just like the Twins in the top half. So here's Jeremy Pena. J.P. walked his first time up. Tapper to short. And that'll clean up the third inning. Nice job by Sonny Gray, leaving two men aboard. And it's 3-0 Twins. It'll be Ryan Jeffers leading off the forward for the Twins against J.P. France. Hit hard for the gap in left center field. And Jeffers got a single to right his first time up. Has another one here leading off the fourth inning. They expect you perhaps a bunt from Willie Castro. Chopped for the bag. One but not two. Castro will reach on a fielder's choice. With Michael A. Taylor at the plate. We'll see if the Twins want to test Maldonado's arm and J.P. France's delivery to the plate. Not on the first pitch. And the pitch off of Maldonado's glove. And so that takes care of that. Castro will go to second base on a wild pitch. And when things are going well, Taylor will get a base hit up the middle or drive the run in, take advantage of the mistake. Or that. A base hit to right field. Castro's going to be waved around. Tucker's throw to the plate is not in time. There you go. Situational hitting, taking advantage of the other team's mistake, and it's four to nothing. That's a nice piece of hitting by Michael Taylor right there. A really nice slide here, Castro, getting that hand underneath the tag. Got a 3 1 count here. Sonny Gray with a 4 0 lead. You would think has to give him something to hit. And he puts the ball on the ground past the first baseman, Joey Gallo, and that's down the line. Jordan is going to get to second base. That looked like a playable ground ball, even though it was sharply hit. Leadoff runner on second for the Astros here in the fourth. Yeah, I'll be curious to see how they rule it. Watch Joey Gallo already playing on the line, just kind of gets there, plants his feet, and they turn into cement, and it just gets by him. And that'll be an error on Joey Gallo. So here's Alex Bregman, who struck out his first time up. This ball into right field, and that'll be down for a hit. Jordan got a good read, but you're not going to take a chance here so Bregman a base hit the other way now the Astros back in business and here's Kyle Tucker now first and third nobody out infield back but he grounds one to second Julian will make the play to Correa if Tucker beats the throw it's an RBI he doesn't Astros get a run but the double play will not be a RBI for Tucker and it's now a four to one game good pick by Gallo there it was it's now four to one so they get one back here's Jose Abreu and Julian spears a line drive to end the inning. The 
Astros get an unearned run against Sonny Gray. It's 4 to 1. We go to the sixth inning. It's a 4 1 game. Jeffers has been able to solve JP France today. He's two for two, a single to right and a single to left. Close Ooh. pitch taken for a called strike. 26 changeups today. How about it? Swing and a miss. He got Taylor to go after a pitch off the plate. That's eight strikeouts for JP France. That matches his career high, which he said in his last start. Pick your poison change up or fastball up. 3 2 pitch. It's a ball into center field, playable for Jake Myers. JP France is going to get through six innings today. Matches his career high with eight strikeouts. Lee's down four to one. Astros to bat. Astros have two on. They'll bring the tying run to the plate. That's going to be it for Sonny Gray. He is going to be lifted here for a relief pitcher, Brock Stewart, be the first out of the inning. Now here's Mauricio Dubon. This one punched into right. That'll be down for a hit. Mauricio Dubon with a hit into right. His second hit of the game. And the Astros will load up the bases here with one out in the seventh inning. So Maldonado strikes out. And now we will see Altuve with two outs, three on. Twins lead 4 1. There's a ball. Drilled deep left field. And gone. A grand slam. Altuve done it. Astros down three of them. Up one, five to four against a pitcher who was unscored upon all season long. Little man, big swing. And Lewis will come up to the plate one more time with men on base. Three run homer in the third. And maybe something more special yet to come. Liner to center field. Farmer around third to tie the game. And the rookie comes through again. Four runs batted in in his return to the line. Two singles, two strikeouts for Ryan Jeffers. He'll hit here, leading off the 10th with Max Kepler at second base. Brian Abreu throws a 98-mile-an-hour fastball. Oh, the Twins got the work cut off for him here. A drive to left field. A bullet. Gone. A home run. Ryan Jeffers jumps on the first pitch and puts the Twins up by two. Jeffers oh. nearly did a jumping jack at first base, looking back at his dugout. Third home run for Jeffers. And now the Astros will have a runner at second base, and it'll be Diaz, their catcher, Alvarez. Last hope for the Astros. Got him looking! What a win for the Twins! Giving a lead back late, tying it in the ninth, and winning it in the tenth.